Child actors on Broadway are living their dreams through some tough times for the industry. They have some big responsibilities as COVID complicates their schooling, their jobs, even their lives at home. But as CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports, they are loving life. These two young actors know how to bring it big time on Broadway. 14-year-old Atticus Ware and 12-year-old Avery Sell. And you smile when you come to frown. Ware is a North Carolina native who calls Weehawken, New Jersey home. He says he longed to perform as far back as he can remember. So I got started with tap dancing when I was about four years old. My sister started, so I decided to join. And I've loved it ever since. Two years ago, he landed flying over sunset playing Archie Leach, who changed his name and became the legendary Cary Grant. His audition for this splashy and trippy musical was an open call. We were in North Carolina at that time, so we flew up to New York. When I heard that I got it, I was ecstatic. It was around the same time that Sel won the role of Natalie, the scene-stealing youngest daughter in the musical Mrs. Doubtfire. Making it to Broadway with Mrs. Doubtfire the very first week of performances turned suddenly stressful. So we're on our third preview, and then unfortunately the COVID um, shut down. Um, every, all the Broadway shows shut down. It was very heartbreaking, um, especially because we're all kids and we didn't know if we were going to be able to come back. I cried a lot because, you know, I didn't know if I was going to stay the right size. You know, I could have outgrown it. Cast members scattered, keeping in touch via Zoom calls. They were nowhere near a stage or rehearsal hall for months, but Ware and Cell stayed focused on their craft. Keeping working on my skills. I tried to keep myself busy with doing dance classes, um, but it was a little difficult. Making it less difficult for both and allowing for their triumphant returns in their shows was support from their families and their theater families especially the stars of their shows. Cell says this about the man who plays her one-of-a-kind father in Mrs. Doubtfire. It's definitely so inspiring. He, especially Rob McClure, he's the best stage dad on and off. Um, he's so kind and funny. It's just inspiring every day. For where there is this enduring bond with star Tony Yazbek. The two share this crowd-pleasing song and dance number in Act One. At the end of it, I am, I am tired. It's, it's very tiring, but it's, it's so fun. Yeah, I definitely aspire to be like Tony. His work ethic is just incredible. I, he's really a big role model for me. He's just so good, and I'm, I'm so grateful to, to experience this number with him every, every show. It's always different, and it's always present in the moment. Yazbek remembers being in Ware's shoes, also on Broadway as a kid in the 1989 revival of Gypsy. I was 11, and uh, I think the show closed when I was 13. I don't think I was as gifted as this kid is, to be honest with you, at that age. He's got incredible instincts as a dancer, not just as a dancer, but as an artist. There's an immense amount of love between us, no matter what's going on. It takes a lot of courage to go through this COVID time in a Broadway show. It's it's a lot of togetherness, and um, he's been part of it, and he's seen it, and I think it's gonna train him for the rest of his life to get through anything. We asked these talented young actors the advice they have for kids as young as five or six who wanna get into the entertainment industry, and they replied, dream big, no matter how little you are. Chase your dreams, stay humble, and just go for it, have fun. Really just keep working, keep auditioning. I'd say roll with the punches is pretty, that's pretty accurate. Where and sell will keep acting, they say. In a pandemic, they brought people joy. And much later, when they are no longer Broadway babes, they'll look back and say, during this crazy time and against all the odds, they made it. In the theater district, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.